Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I wanna show you how you can hide and show all the sprites in your project at the same time. Okay, so for example, I have my interactive collage project right here. And so when I click on a sprite like this particular picture, it's going to actually hide all of the other sprites on our project. So I click, it hides them all. Okay, so it tells you information about this artwork, which is a really awesome bison or buffalo. And then it gets smaller again and then goes back over here and then all the sprites come back. So let's learn how to do that. All right, so I have a new project right here and I'm gonna add in some random sprites. So I'm gonna say, surprise me. And I want to make it so that I hide these three sprites whenever I click on these scratch cat. Okay, so let's talk about how to do that. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to need to create a message. And the message is going to be hide all sprites. We wanna make it descriptive so that way we know what this thing actually does. And we're going to say to hide them all. So we're gonna drop this on every single one of these sprites that's in this particular project. Dropping it on top of the sprite will actually save the code in here. So if you look, every single one of these sprites now has that hide all sprites code. All right, so this is great and all, but I wanna actually make it so that when we click on the scratch cat, it's going to hide all of the other sprites. So to do that, we're gonna say when it's clicked, we're going to broadcast a message and wait. And so that message is going to be hide all sprites. So now when I click on this, it's going to hide the sprites, but we wanna make it so that scratch cat then will, I don't know, say something, okay? So if we click this, what do you think is gonna happen? And what kind of bug am, am I gonna run into? Let's find out. Okay, so we click on Scratch Cap, and everything's gone, and we don't actually get to see this text right here. So let's bring the sprites back. So the reason why is because we have to actually show our sprite right before we say something again. So now when we click, Scratch Cat will actually stay here and say something. Okay, so this is cool, but I want all the other sprites to actually come back at the end. So to do that, we're going to actually create another message. And the other message is going to be show all sprites. And we're going to broadcast this at the end. So that way they all come back. Okay, so the code is going to be very similar to before, but instead of hide all sprites, we're gonna say show all sprites. And instead of hiding, we're going to, yeah, you guessed it, show, okay? So I'm gonna drop this onto each one of the sprites. And so now when we click on Scratch Cap, it hides everyone, even though they're already hidden, and then they come back. And if we click again, hides everyone, okay? So this code, if we drop it onto other sprites, will also work. So if we click now on the rock, it's going to hide every other one except for the rock. Now the reason why is because we're hiding it and then showing it. Now a little important thing to point out here is that if we don't use the and wait, here's what can sometimes happen. Whoops, I need an event block. So it's going to broadcast, show, say something, and then show everything, okay? So we, you would think this would work really well, but what's actually happening is when you click on it, it's running through this code so fast that it's actually showing the sprite before it actually runs the code for hiding the sprite. So while it's running this and it goes to start to say something, it then hides it so we actually don't end up seeing our sprite. So it's important that we actually use the hide all sprites and wait in order to do this particular code. All right, so that's how you can make it in your project so that you hide and show all of your sprites using the different broadcast messages. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let us know something that you learned or created in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe, like, and check out the links in the description for even more free resources, such as videos, free lesson plans, and our podcast.